Did I see that? Did I chick stop the top on the main? Did I let that bitch do chicks urban? Yeah. Man, that shit do chicks like that shit used to do back to school in them, man. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Make her out do dance moves if I. Boom! 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 I bet the burn this nigga. The money so new, the money so new. I can't even spread this shit, man. You spread me. Money so new, don't even open up. This shit. Big bird and the black bird. You spread me, you know what I'm talking about? TSL business, the biggest business, the only business, the business. The spillers, you know what I'm talking about? The spillers and the splashes and the splicker dashes, you know what I'm talking about? The spillers and the, and the, and the, and the thrillers, man, and the illers, you know what I'm talking about? Oh, we, it's fillers of the splashes. Fuck the outs, fuck the outside, man. Fuck the outs. You feel me? If you ain't in the circle, then you out. You feel me? Fuck them. We don't fuck with the outside. We don't fuck with the outside. They gonna outside, die. Niggas. They gonna die in they sleep. And if they'll die in they sleep, they gonna die when they awake. We gonna tweet, tweet. Tweet, tweet. You feel me? But nah, man. Right now, we on the outside of uh, motherfucking Houston, Texas. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, 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 where it's hot. Shout out to Rizzo, Rizzo, it's hot sauce. We down here busting, you know what I'm talking about? Busting our discussion. Shout out to OTB, RP Nut, Splash in the Hot Fashion, you know what I'm talking about? Man, you know, we the young duns of the city, you feel me? The duns, you know what I'm saying? The guards of the city, the twins, the twins, the best that ever did it, you know what I'm saying? They got away with it, you feel me? You feel me? Still too legit to quit. Still too legit to quit, you know what I'm talking about? So I asked you this, is, man. Like, how long? Okay. And then check yeah. this out, though. Don't forget this, though. Yeah. Urban. See the done. Check the done out, man. Yeah, we gonna get, let me get far. Let this. me get back a little bit. Yeah, the Maybach over there, too, man. Yeah, the Maybach, Maybach right there Maybach in the cut. We still got that. Yeah, we having the Maybach for over a year now. Yeah. You know, they see in the top drop. That's the new version of uh, relaxing. If you know what they mean, Ace Time culture, things of that nature. Made back over there in the cut. Sticking, poking hard in the bitch. Yeah. She's over there booling. <laughs> Hibernating. Sounds brazen. Big bird shit. The biggest birds in the motherfucking. Tears of the biggest country, business. Country, whatever you want to call it, bitch. The biggest business. Your grandma know about these. What's the spell though? Yeah. Nah, man, so really, the thing is with this shit, I want to make clear, bro. You've been, and I, and I think a lot of people don't really pay attention to how hard that y'all been motherfucking working. They just seeing this and seeing that, but you ain't never just really said in this last, what, three years? I mean, you've been always had that crazy work ethic and staying consistent and standing firm, but you accomplished what it take a lot of niggas in the game to accomplish. They gotta sign record deals. They gotta do this. They gotta do that. But you came with it. You came with a plan, and still accomplished this shit. We talking Maybachs. What's the worth of both of these cars together? Like seven hundred thousand. Seven hundred thousand in whips independently. No, that's just for two. That's for two. just two that's of my two. cars. I yeah. got like seven cars all together, but just two of them. My Maybach is a quarter million dollar car when it first hit the showroom floor. The Dunn is a four hundred thousand dollar car. It's the Maybach, especially with mine, because it got extra features and shit to it. It's a two hundred and fifty thousand dollar car. Just pig when it come out and when you do not even mention the V12. But then when you add the motherfucking me refrigerator system and, and the extended cab and the damn the, the fucking uh, console shit or the trays and all them type of amenities that make it cost uh, each one of them different amenities be like a twenty thousand dollars extra the bigger speech the bigger uh, speaker system in the Maybach all that shit be like an extra ten to twenty thousand depending on what the accessory is then I got this right here the done 
This a, like I said, this a $500,000 car, $400,000 car when it first come out. You know, a little bit after that, it dropped down to 375 350, you ain't gonna find nothing less than 350, 375, 300, and over in the higher, higher 300. But when they first hit out the first showroom floor, they 400 to 500, depending on how many, how many perks, how many accessories you got added on to the car. You know, just that, just that, 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 that genuine, uh, 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 I don't know, I think it's Romanian wood, I don't know what type of wood that is that you, but just that wood piece alone. On the back of the Maybach, it's an extra thirty-five thousand. It's extra thirty thousand, thirty thousand dollars to have that, to have that accessory on there. Cause a lot of people have just the plastic part right there, just yeah. to have that extra wood on there is an extra thirty thousand. But yeah, these just two of the cars that you spend. Yes. I got the, I got Bentley's, Benjis, Escalades, whatever, Maseratis, Ferraris, all type of shit. I got cars I don't even post. Yeah. She so nah, man. Twin got a Maybach, Sosa man got a Maybach. She so. Nah, TSL been making some moves, bro, and like, I think that we gotta really go ahead. And it, it it been that way where I see certain niggas, man, they don't they don't shy away from giving Sauce his credit and saying, hey man, he revived us. You know what I'm saying? I, I stomp it because it's facts. It ain't no whole shit. It's just, hey, that nigga came with a whole new flavor, whole new sound. And I feel like you you kicked the wave off of niggas saying fuck it, we could get out here and be creative, man. We could get out, get out here and have this own our own shit and be independent and grind and keep putting out music and niggas got a respect to the check it. It's like you kind of was a nigga that made it. Like, hey, bro, nigga, rep Texas proudly, rep Houston proudly. Absolutely. Um, you bred. I, it was never really no serious gap, but you damn so the nigga yes, that was. Between, I'm, I'm saying before, between Dallas, Fort Worth, the whole DFW, and Ace Time. It, it was a serious gap you, between you, us. And if it wasn't a serious gap between Houston and Dallas, then yeah. tell me the the known love songs that you have from Paul Wall and 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 the road music. Or the or, or the the love songs that you have from Chameleon uh, and Dunn Chief or from Chicago, I mean from from Dallas. Or show me the songs where you got Trade the Truth for Mike Jones or Zero the Crooked, uh, which which all Ace Time legends and they all right with uh, Dallas legends such as uh, Big Tuck or, or Tum Tum or or, or or other artists from DSR. If, uh, the artists and the, and the legends from Dallas, Big Chief, Lucci, uh, Lucci. Uh, uh, shout out to when you speak of Fort Worth, you got to talk about uh, uh, T. What's not uh, T. Black, uh, Twisted Black, yeah. Twisted Black. Shout out Twisted Black, free Twisted Black King in the feds. But to me, it never made sense that we don't have songs with the little Kikis and the little Flips and Twisted Blacks if. Dallas has always been a, a, a state in a city, I mean not a state, but a city in, in Texas that hugely follows and supports and, and believes in the Houston culture and what we have embodied and added and created for the Texas culture as a general and what Houston as a specific city itself means in high key it is to the culture and the style of Texas as a whole because if you take out the the screwed up music and the candy painted cars and the big booty women and the, and the permanent diamond teeth and the haircuts and, 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 the, and the swangers and, the, and the, all the, the double cups, the, the drink, all the culture that comes from Texas, that's all derives really from Houston. Not saying that Dallas don't have a culture that's that's just as influential and helpful to Texas because they do. But the fact of why we wasn't able to use each other's attributes and benefits and, and, and extra creative things and, and, and elements and, and, and bits of culture that makes up the DNA of Texas, we couldn't utilize it and, and use it the way that the world or that we should have been able to use it and have it accessible to us because we didn't get those songs and we didn't get those moments. It was very rare that you would get a Slim Thug and a Big Tuck song 
that was like a one time, one song opportunity type of thing. When Big Chief and Lil Kiki did a whole album, nobody in my city in Houston knew nothing about that. Nobody in Houston knows who Big Chief is. When Big Chief is the household name of Dallas, you probably don't know who Big Chief is like that. Yeah, I do. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so. But I'm more than a casual fan. I understand but, what you're saying. But but right, yeah. exactly. But the thing about the, the thing about it is is that it shouldn't even be a, a fathomable question. There should be moments in history, pictures in history, uh, uh, cameos and videos and shit like that between Houston and Dallas, just like you have between Philadelphia and New York, uh, 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 Jersey and New York. You always had the. Uh, uh, the Red Mans and the Method Mans linked up with the people that's from New York, like um, Ghostface Killer and Rakim, and then you got fucking Jay Z and them with Rockefeller, and then you got fucking State Property and everybody from State Property that's from Philadelphia as well and shit like that. It just shows a certain level of of respect and certain level of of, of of honor and homage and, and it also gives a higher level of certification and verification to the creativity and to those moments of history where Texas had brilliance that inspired the world and inspired other cities and states and because that gap was not fulfilled it's way easier to infiltrate Texas and separate our creativity and separate our originality and what we gave to the game and take it from us and make it someone else's like the Dougie like uh, uh, the the slab or, or sip and drink or the sip and drink culture or school and chop music slowing down your music and chopping down the words or, and bringing it back and all that type of shit these are moments in Houston and moments in Texas that couldn't have been owned and capitalized and, and claimed because a lot of our legends and a lot of the people that we looked up to died early or a lot of our legends that meant a lot to us that had say so or that the outside world that knew as a household name such as Pimp C and DJ Screw. Pimp C being from Port Arthur, Texas, he don't have no Dallas moments. And Dallas is the biggest fucking sports, sports thriving city that Texas has. Houston is, is the biggest city that Texas has, but at the same time, Dallas, it would, Dallas in the DFW Fort Worth area within its own right is just as big and just as important and equivalent to Texas important as Houston is. Especially when you talk about the airport, the city structure, the the, the landmarks out there, it's, it's the history, the, the neighborhoods, North Dallas, South Dallas, Malcolm X, and Martin Luther King. They got a Martin Luther King in, in, in Dallas just how we got a Martin Luther King in Houston, Texas. They got a South Dallas just like we got South Side of Houston and, and, and this history. And his and his and his leg is 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 legends and shit that follow up with that Dallas history. That if we would have had a closer relationship with them in the '90s or in the '80s, where the streets and the beats and meaning like the 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 the, the, the big homies from around the corner and the big artists and the big entrepreneur CEOs, if we would have bridged the gap between Texas way long time ago, we could have compete at a better rate and, 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 and keep up with the masses and the other higher, the, the proclaimed higher uh, music, musically dominant cities such as the Californias, the New Yorks, the Chicago's and the Atlanta's right now because our history and our creativity and our individuality and what we added to hip hop as a general is so important where Houston and what Texas as a as a whole added to the hip hop culture is just as important as what is West Coast making gangster rap, and it's just as important. It's just as important as New York inventing rap. Period. But you couldn't have the 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 cash monies and the no limits without Jay Prince and without rapper like you couldn't have the 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 the. the the Rick Rosses and the and the and the Yo Gotti's and the and the without Swab House and MJG and Bob yeah, Tony Draper and, 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 and Jay Prince, you can't have that without that. Yeah. The, the 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 one of the number one embodying meant music playlists and original history music layouts for Memphis is the A Bob and the MJG original album and that the, the cover of that album is Houston in the background and they are riding in a slam. Thanks. 
and this is Houston history and this other rappers from it like Player Fly, so on and so forth that also are legends. I'm not a person that's uneducated with music history and not saying that, oh well, you only said A Ball, MJG, but you don't know about Player Fly, you don't know about Hypnotized Minds and so on and so forth. No, I know about all those different things, but at the end of the day, we know what A Ball and MJG is to Memphis. Y'all, they the equivalent of UGK or some on their rap form, the South Twins, a, a rap group that y'all love. But at the end of the day, ghetto the, boys, things yeah, of that nature. Right. So, so the South Twins and TSF, we bridge the gap between Houston and Dallas. The artists between young and old, we got relationships and got songs out with all the artists from Dallas and younger artists from Dallas. We got. The Yellow Beezies and the Trap Boy Freddies and the and the the, the Go Yayos and Bugattis and CJ Casinos coming to Houston frequently, feeling comfortable and, and doing songs and meeting up with the other young artists, young little Germans and the, doing music and making the city understand and accept a state cheese and, and embrace a state cheese so that now we can have a state down productions and now we can have an urban politics like that's all come off the creation in the spurt of the South Twins. Sure, but the sure. thing about Dallas and Fort Worth that we love so much is that they have no problem with admitting what the South Twins or what TSF has done for Texas or what TSF has done for Dallas or what TSF has done for the likes of the Yellow Beezers and the Trap Boy Freddies and the, and the Go Yayos and so forth. And also the support and the love and the acknowledgement that Dallas and these artists gave to us that kept us solidified in the rap game when Houston didn't have our back the way that they were supposed to have our back when Houston wasn't supporting the South Twins the way they were supporting the post to support the South Twins. We had Dallas to fall back on. We had Trap Boy Freddie Yellow Beasy, uh, uh, CJ Casino, Bugatti, we had these people to fall back on and create ways and create opportunity and create La Run, shout out La Run too. We had all these different artists from the Splurges, the young ones as well. We had so many different young people that we could create this level of opportunity and this level of, 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 of awareness with and, and showing that Texas does have a roster of artists that could compete with the new Louisiana that could compete with Miami, that could compete with shit, whatever, Atlanta, whatever. Yeah. Nah, so I, I look at that, bro, like, cause you, you said facts and niggas could go and say what they want to say. I, that And that's why I understand why you move the way you move and you stamp and you, and you got a lot of pride in what you created.